Hello all. Welcome back to Two Soul and Math. I'm your host Jamie. I know this is an unorthodox video for me, but I thought this would be something fun to explore. It is August 17th, 2024 right now. I take the SAT on November 2nd, 2024. And I'm using this, uh, I guess, period to, I don't know, I guess, as an experiment to test whether ChatGBT is very, like, I don't know, helpful, I guess. Um, so I asked ChatGBT after taking a practice test to create a study regimen that will bring my score up to at least a 1500. I got a pretty rigorous schedule from ChatGBT, but I pasted it into this document over here. Here is the generated study regiment that ChatGPT gave to me. So I, I just basically took a practice test, analyzed all my weaknesses, what I got wrong in the progress of writing all that down over here. So I got, well, I took practice test number three, which wasn't overly difficult, but I don't know. I, I fumbled. I was in a rush. I, I just like, kind of took it for fun to see what my benchmark is because I do want to start intensive studying i got a 700 score in english with seven questions incorrect out of 54 i believe and then on math i got six wrong out of 44 math i could have easily gotten a score of 800 i would have been at my goal already 700 800 but i made some mistakes you know but the study regimen that chat gbt gave me i believe that can bring me to that score of of 1500 so i i basically told it all my weaknesses i said i told them my goals and then i asked for a study regiment that takes place all the way up to november 1st which is the day right before my exam so we have total duration 11 weeks five days a week and every three weeks i have to take a practice test and i will be documenting all of this so weekly breakdown, weeks one through three, we have uh, three sessions a week for English to bring that up to my goal of 750 or 730, I, I forgot which one. And then math, it's only two sessions per week. And you can see over here, uh, he's really, uh, he, it is really emphasizing all my weaknesses and making sure I, you know, just aired them out I guess about two hours per session which is interesting but you know have to get that 1500 somehow weeks four through six we strengthen our concepts uh, more of the weaknesses being covered then we have intensive practice all the way up to October 19th for September 29th and then final review weeks 10 through 11 it's two English per uh, week, three math per week. And I have to take a total of four practice tests. And it gave me some study tips as well. And I believe that will be helpful. So I'm just kind of creating this video as kind of a tracker to see if ChatGPT really knows what's up. I believe that this regimen will help but we just have to wait and see i guess to kind of give more context here are my practice tests that i already did take but i will update you guys week by week and i'll give results of the practice tests i do take so hopefully this brings me up to a 1500 at least all right i'm excited to take you on this journey all right I just concluded practice test two. That was not good. Okay, English I found to be relatively easy. Math module one, super easy. I don't think I got a single thing wrong. Module two, absolutely hated it. I think I got like 10 wrong on that one. Difficult test definitely shows that I haven't been studying as proficiently as I'm supposed to be. That week break definitely did not help, but you know, Time to see the score. I'm gonna get my raw reaction. Score prediction, score prediction. Um, 
7.30 English, 6.80 math. All right. Yo. <laughs> I went down in math, like reading and writing horribly. What? I'm, I'm at a loss for words. I'm, I'm lost. Okay, well, I got, um, oh boy, out of 6.30 English, 7.30 math, I mean, I got 13.60 composite, I don't know what went wrong, reading and writing the first module, I got everything correct, and then I guess it just seemed to fall off from there, to be fair, I was like, Distracted by the fact that I got my camera in the middle. Like first module, I got perfect. Third, I got. Oh boy, thirteen wrong for the second module. In math, I got. Um, my prediction was right. Well, no, I got two wrong on the first module and seven wrong in the second module. This is not good. This is far from good. I had to lock in. Well, that's the only thing I could take from this. I was distracted. That's my excuse, but oh, that's absolutely unacceptable. That is so embarrassing. All right, time to give an update on the NMSQT. I thought the test was fairly easy. Like English, I thought was super easy. It was a little tough for second module because of time restrictions but even then I got everything completed and then modules one and two for math were really easy I feel like I got maybe perfect score on math so uh scores released I think November 7th so I'll give an update then It is 8.30 p.m. November 1st, the day before the SAT, and let's just say, I'm feeling so confident right now before tomorrow. So, uh, tomorrow's the SAT day. I'm so excited to take the SAT tomorrow. I'm feeling confident, I'm feeling ready, and I think all this preparation really helped. So, I'll update you right after the exam and we're getting a 1500 easily all right i feel like jamie's easily gonna get a 1600 on the sat because he's been studying like crazy but he's gonna he's gonna get a, a, a 1600 on his sat because he hasn't stopped typing on that macbook and he didn't go trick-or-treating with me because because like he's just been doing his homework and being a little skibbity skibbity toilet so jamie gets five big booms Boo! 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 Ba ba ba! Boo! It's over. It's over. It's not good. All right, so I'm predicting I got a 1410 composite score with 26 out of 27 right on English reading and writing module one. Reading and writing module 2, 21 out of 27. Math module 1, 21 out of 22. And math module 2, 17 out of 22. For 700 English, 710 math. That test was genuinely so... I don't want to say bad. It was bad, but I don't want to say bad. I think the reading component of the English was easy right but it was just big chunks of words compiled you know it was hard to read along but i feel confident in english the thing that stumped me over was the vocabulary but i do think i got a 700 
math. <sighs> Module one, I'm only saying I got one wrong because I feel like I made some kind of silly mistake somewhere in there. That's, that's the only reason why. Module two though was like genuinely the hardest th like set of questions that I've taken for the SAT. Like none of the practice exams were as difficult as that module two was. There was a couple questions that I just had no idea how to solve and I kind of guessed for them. I had a decent idea for some of them. It was just a matter of applying myself and not forgetting the material. Content wise, there was only like f truly four questions that I like didn't know how to do or was lost on how to solve. But I'm only I'm adding one more incorrect answer because I feel like I made a silly mistake somewhere in there. Like I didn't read the problem right or whatnot. Yeah, it was not great. SAT scores come out in 13 days. So I will do two live reactions to that. See you then. Wait, so you're recording, right? Yeah. Okay, so it is 6.03 p.m. We're out on the streets of Linden, New Jersey. Oh and God. City Hall. I City used Hall. to work there. Uh, I'm going on big features to see my PS PSAT score. Right. What time is it? Oh, you already said bro, that. Bro, my heart's beating, bro. Oh my <laughs> yeah, God. Something else is beating. What? <laughs> okay, wait, 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 wait. wait. Okay, wait, 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 predictions, predictions, predictions. Okay. Uh, okay, I think I got 750 math, 690 English. Okay. Well, I don't know. Okay, that's good. I was like pretty funny that's close to my prediction, bro. Okay, hold up. So look. Oh, bro, this, is, this doesn't mean national merit, though. Yeah. But uh, to be fair, I don't think no. uh, most people aren't getting national merit. No, Muddy, no. No, no Muddy. No. Muddy, no. No, Muddy, let's, no. Let's see the breakdown. Let's see okay. It. 98th percentile. percentile. 90 oh, no. <laughs> oh, that was me last year. 99th. For math instead. Whatever, bruh. Uh, the standard English convention, really? That's just grammar, right? Yeah. Oh, that's. I'm low key kind of disappointed in that. Better than last year. It's okay. Well, last year I got a 1200, so that doesn't mean anything. Okay. Whatever. Don't do me now. Wait, did you start? Mm -hmm. Okay, so SAT scores just released. So I'm gonna open the website and see what I got. Let me sit down. Let me sit down for this. Uh, my my heart is like thumping. I'm nervous. Let me never change me. You're gonna be okay. So that's two more. Uh, hey, 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 stop! Stop! Teddy, please. I got a fourteen sixty. Nice, nice, good job. Uh, <laughs> Teddy, stop. <laughs> Whatever. You happy? No, uh, not re not really. I want a fifteen hundred. It's fine. That's whatever. No, the more. Okay, stop. Super. Wait, hold on. <laughs> the answer is no. ChatGPT cannot bring me to a 1500 score. I ended up scoring a 1460 on the SAT. And um, the journey's over. I th There's a lot that we could take away from this. And... I think that ChatGPT can be a good resource for creating a study resume. The reason why I didn't get a 1500 wasn't in fault to ChatGPT, it was human error. There was a lot of, there was a lack of motivation from my side to do two hours of SCT prep a day. So having to adjust to that during the school year was hard, so I needed to create another regiment. I did get some pretty sizable results from it. I went from a 610 on English all the way up to a 710, which is 100 point increase in a section that's very hard to improve on. So I'm definitely happy about that. Getting a 750 on the SAT for the math section was, I don't know. Once you get consistently around a 750 area, it's complete luck if you get 800, 780, things like that. So yeah. I would, I think I would recommend 
using ChatGBT, but as an aid rather as a strict guideline for creating a regimen. Oh, here are my tips. If you're consistently scoring over a 1400 on the SAT, try to avoid Khan Academy as much as you could. But it's not amazing for the math section, but the texts are complex and I feel like they do mirror the SAT questions pretty well for English. My recommendation is to use the SAT question bank and use harder practice material like the Princeton Review that could definitely really help. I think relying on older SAT prep books also is pretty good because being able to analyze the longer text will help you stay focused for the shorter text in English. But math, I don't know. It was hard. So I'd study, I'd get all the fundamentals down first and then study using the SAT practice bank. And yeah, that's um, it for this journey. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And this has been a 2 one math production.